Last Minute Man, we are here today on the range. I'm with my good buddy, Mr. Obvious. And what are we talking about today, Mr. Obvious? We are going to talk about the Tika light today in America's favorite round or becoming the favorite, the 6.5 Primo. <laughs> I don't know if it's the favorite, but it is definitely very popular. It is an excellent cartridge. Uh, it, it was hard for me to come along to this, you know. It's yeah. hard for me to turn away from my 308. And you don't have to turn away from your favorite caliber to go to a new caliber. This is a really cool caliber. Yeah. I, I really have, like this. I love a 308 too. I, it's uh, it's a it's a toss up what you like to target shoot with, I guess. Is well, the six five is, is very very accurate, and yeah. you're getting very similar ballistics. I know there's somebody out there that's gonna hate on this or that. These are just our opinions, folks. Yeah. But uh, this is an excellent rifle. This is a Tika T3X light and uh, it's got the nice stainless steel fluted barrel you got on here we're testing out some new equipment today we've got a uh, tacticam yep and uh that brought to you by mr obvious <laughs> he yep. purchased this so so when we say hey i know i didn't pull that you'll be able to see through the scope while we shoot so you'll know what we're doing right when we do it and uh, mm -hmm. there's no excuses so that that is pretty cool i'm excited to use that and before i forget to mention we we want to thank american gun and pawn uh, mm -hmm. they're located in dry ridge kentucky and always support your local gun shops folks and uh, that happens to be ours if you're up this way or uh they deliver anywhere across the united states yep. so uh just give them a call and like you always say you follow your local rules and follow regulations your local rules and what state what you can have and can't have so but uh yeah tell us a little bit about this here mr obvious well what made you purchase this rifle well when they first come out i got this gun mm -hmm. um, so it, it uh, i wanted to try the tika and i wanted the light and i wanted something i could varmint hunt with or target shoot with and this gun seems to be extremely accurate in the past when i've shot it i'll probably put you know a couple boxes of shells through it in its life so far it's not a lot but uh what i have shot it, it it's awesome and we got a uh, vortex diamondback set on top of it and uh I, I love that scope for the dollar you can't beat it or go mm -hmm. wrong you've actually got a few of these yep. so <laughs> yeah so he does love this yep. and we are shooting hand loads today and of course that's going to be uh shown at the beginning of the video you probably saw that the exact load data that he has but uh, we're going to be shooting those uh, at 400 we're skipping straight to the 400 yard today because we said why mess around at 6.5 Creedmoor mm -hmm. so but uh, yeah I'm excited to shoot this thing it is extremely lightweight and uh, we'll get into a lot of that in the AAR that is coming later but uh, let's get to some shooting shoot. okay so Mr. Obvious is going to be shooting at 400 I am firing up the uh, Tacticam now. We should be recording. And uh, so you should see exactly what he sees. Mr. Obvious, fire when ready. You can see how much it came off the target when you fired that lightweight rifle. And I will mention he had one shot on the target. That was a test fire we did before we started shooting. Holding nice and steady there, Mr. Obvious. That was good. All right, we got last minute man up here. He's gonna shoot three shots. We done a little adjustment on the scope. Hope it's a little better. And now I'm going to start the Tacticam. All right. You are live, my friend. You good to go? Good to go. All right. Well, I'm going to be taking three shots and uh, let's see how I do. Did hear steel ring? Yeah, man. I'm shooting a little slower this time. All righty, take your time. Do what you got to do. All right. Hold her in there. Breathing control. Just 
squeeze the trigger till she drops. Down there and take a look at it. Well, last minute, man, has a couple <laughs> red spots where that, the Tacticam that recoil tacticam got. Tacticam really changes things. Yeah, we don't have a uh, <laughs> we <laughs> we don't have a uh, muzzle brake on that gun, but uh, Boy, oh, that thing kicks right in your face. Uh, <laughs> you feel like an amateur. You know, you're you're far enough away from the scope, but then that tank cam's an extension. Yeah, so it extends out there. It's going to take some getting used to. Yes. All right, so here's our target after we shot, and uh, no surprise to anyone that's been watching our videos, Mr. Obvious shot a very tight group here, and these were his three, okay? This was the shot that was taken off camera that we did just to test the gun out to kind of see where it was, and Mr. Obvious, his two furthest shots were, you're right at, what, uh, two and a half inches? Yep, about two and a half. So th like. those were the furthest two. Now my furthest two, this was my first shot, as you saw in the video. First shot, second shot, third. So my two furthest shots is we're five and three quarter there. Okay, so I'm over a minute of angle there. That is all me. That is not the rifle. We allowed adequate cooling time for this rifle. Uh, so that is 100% all me. That was a uh, first shot getting smacked in the face, I flinched, <laughs> okay, so I pulled, and then my last one, I said, I'm just going to, I'm just going to take it, okay, <laughs> so, and I, and I shot a lot better, yeah. better, so, my last, my last shot there, I mean, we're looking at under, an, uh, uh, under two inches, yeah, difference, but so. that's all the shooter there, so, what we're seeing is, Mr. Obvious, uh, there's no replacement for, uh, experience, <laughs> so, a lot of years of bench time. But the rifle shoots great. That is one good shooter. Let's get to our AAR. All right. And we're back with our after action report. And what do we have to report today, Mr. Obvious? We, we got to report another good shooter. That's all they are to it. We, uh, oh, this is just great. Yeah. Uh, love this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. it uh, and it comes in multiple calibers. You know, you can get this thing in a 308, 65 Creedmoor. Uh, I hear tell that they have it in a 300 Win Mag. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you, if you do spend any time out in the mountains and you like to moose hunt and things like that, uh, 300 Win Mag is mm -hmm. probably a, an excellent caliber. And I think I'm going to purchase one of these in a 300 Win Mag. I've been looking yep. for the rifle I wanted to get it in. I think this is it. That's a good round for I, me. I love a 300 mag. I have one in a Steyr, and it's an excellent shooter. And we need to probably do a 400 on it. I mean, it's, oh, we'll definitely do that. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's a sweet gun. Yeah, and uh, uh, I mean, I love doing these long range shooting. Now, myself, I'm not the world's most foremost expert on long range shooting. I, I know everyone's shocked, you know, but, but, but I'm not. So, Mr. Obvious is kind of schooling me a little bit here, teaching me something that's, uh, you know, I'm not terrible, but I'm not great. And uh, you see that in the shooting. The rifle itself is shooting excellent. But, uh, you know, it's being able to overcome, adapt, and impro improvise. Yeah. So, uh, when you get smacked in the face, that adds an extra, what, ooh, inch and a half? to the back of the uh, scope. Well, it's, uh, it's it's a little bit of extension, but it goes up pretty tight against it. It's just... So anyway, so anything that gets out of whack for me is like, bam, oh, sh you know, yeah. <laughs> throws me off. He's cool. So he, he, he takes it and uh, you shot just fine with it. And uh, so uh, I love the tactic cam. That thing is awesome. It's awesome. Um, definitely something we're gonna have to use uh, every time. Yep. You know, uh, I love it. I mean, even shooting at 100, I think it's kind of neat Yeah, to have on there. So we'll see how the film comes out. Let us know in the comment section if you like this. Uh, it, it, it's fun to kind of see what we're doing, too. You can see how shaky either one of us are. You know, I'm, I obviously am more so than you. Um, but whatever rifle you have, practice, practice, practice. Yeah. You know. I, I mean, we, 
We took cool down time for the barrel. The yes. Last minute, man, he took ice. I took ice and, and put it over it. And we iced the barrel with ice out of a cooler. And cooled Gave it a good five minutes of cooling time. Yeah, it, it, it is uh, real hot out here. It's a little humid, but we're in 90 degree some weather. And mm -hmm. so it's, uh, the barrel was hot after oh. three shots. Oh, it got real hot. Yeah, and that's something to take note of. Of course, this is not something you're gonna run and gum with. This is not a, uh, this isn't a, a um, competition style rifle at all. Mm -hmm. This is a hunting rifle and uh, I love it. I mean, this thing is great, shoots amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I really can't say enough good about it. It's free floated. And uh, if I could, unfortunately, you know, on camera, you can't see this, but uh, I mean, good God. Even with a bipod, it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this thing weighs nothing. That's a 24 inch barrel and I yeah. can just, and of course it is, it is unloaded, folks. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I can just yeah. hold it out there and, and that's, effortlessly. That's why we're having a hard time keeping the Tacticam on target. Oh yeah, it's, the recoil, the it's wiggling. The gun's so light that it just bounces off target. no way to it uh the magazine in this um let's talk a little bit about this i love this Th this was excellent you know uh and i like savage this is not a knock on savage but i do like the magazine setup on this better um loads in a little easier for me mm -hmm. um comes out a lot easier for yeah. me if you can give me that mag the only fault i got against these mags is when you load them you can't push the bullet down. You got to come to the front, push down, and slide. slide. It's, it takes longer to load the mag. That it way. does. So that, that's the only negative I have to it. Just Other keep, that, just keep four of them in your pocket. You're yeah. Good to go. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. But uh, no, this is. I, I like the mag setup, but that's a good point. It, 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 it's a direct um, feed. It's everything center. I, I do yep. like that. But but look, topping it off. And I get what you're saying. If you were going to do a top off, and we won't do that here, but you would basically just have to put it in and chamber the round. Mm -hmm. You couldn't feed it into the mag. So you definitely got to drop the mag to do that. Mm -hmm. um, again, just lightweight, uh, even with this bipod on it. And then with and, a Tacticam on it, it's still lightweight. Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's just a pleasure to hold. <laughs> Boom! It ain't a pistol, Mr. Oh, Roberts. Oh, my no. bad. My bad. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, taking it apart to clean it or anything, you know, removing the bolt. Very simple on these. Um, Very smooth. Just really, what's a negative? If you had to say a negative. I mean, what is, uh, well, you, you mentioned the mag. Okay, the pistol grip on this is awesome. I, I've got no negative tick. I mean, the, the, well, I uh, guess loading the mag is the only negative I can give the gun. I mean, it, it's if I was going to give constructive criticism, and and really this is nitpicky, but on like your Browning Hell's Canyon that you have, uh, the type of material that that's made out of feels soft to the touch. I mean, it's got a good feel to it. Not that this has a bad feel or a cheap feel. I just like it's a warmer feel mm -hmm. on that. Now, I don't know if you can make whatever that composite's made out of. I doubt it's this light. Those are things you're going to sacrifice when you go to a lighter weapon. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, this thing, like I said, just... If I'm backpacking a 300 Win Mag in this, golly, guys, you go on Bighorn Mountain out there in Wyoming, and uh, you, you could lug this around with the bipod, and yeah. it, it wouldn't be no big thing. Yeah. You know, that... Wouldn't be a big deal, you know. I wouldn't mind this at all. I mean, even with the tactic cam on it. Nice so, gun. Golly, that is uh, just too cool for school, man. I love what you guys did here, Tika. You did an awesome job. And uh, even though it's made in Finland, we here in America really love it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're we're not biased at all on our firearms here at Last Minute Man. We we just call it like we see it. And I hope everybody recognizes and realizes that, you know, we don't go out of our way to make ourselves look good. Um, we want the rifle to shoot as the rifle shoots and as our capabilities allow it to shoot. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, uh, saying that, this is an excellent rifle. I really like it. Yeah, it's sweet. That's sweet. I tell you, I, a lot of people, they, they've got these barrels to these guns down pat anymore. Yeah. It seems like a lot of people's building them and they're very accurate. Savage is out yonder. Tika's out yonder. I mean, a lot of them's getting yeah. out there and technology. Browning's and, making great stuff. Yeah, and it's just how much money do you want to spend? 
Yeah, and I mean, well, uh, what what does something like this cost relatively? Uh, like that's about eight fifty, eight hundred fifty dollar gun. So I mean, you're not talking chump change, <laughs> no. you know. But you know, you go buy a Savage for six hundred dollars in that price range, you're getting a really good firearm. You don't have to go break the bank and buy a two thousand dollar, twenty two hundred dollar firearm mm -hmm. to have a decent hunting rifle that shoots great. Uh, this is a little more economic than, uh, say, the Browning. You you're know, for lot weight too. I mean, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it. But you're getting a lot for the money, a lot of bang for the buck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, you, you get, are getting that. You get accuracy so. with it too. So yeah. So uh, I mean, let us know in the comment section what you guys thought. Is there anything you'd like to see different? Um, do you like the 6.5 Creed more? Do you like the Tika? Let us know. Anything else you want to add, Miss mm, Robbins? Nope. We're getting long on the video anyway, so. <laughs> okay, so everybody, with that, remember, keep your knives sharp, keep your powder dry. Subscribe. The last minute, man, use that comment section below. We appreciate it.